Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's another special case that you might run into. We have three linear equations. You want to solve them simultaneously. You want to find values for x1, x2, and x3 that will satisfy all three equations. In other words, you want to take this, write the augmented matrix, and then use the Gauss-Jordan elimination method in order to make it look like this so you can identify the three specific values for x1, x2, and x3. But here, if you take a close look, you already see there's a problem. When we add x1 plus x2 plus x3 on the first equation, we get 1. But if we then add x1, x2, and x3 together in the third equation, we get 2. That cannot be possible. So therefore, you already know there's something wrong here. But let's do the problem. Let's work it out. Let's use the Gauss-Jordan elimination method to see what it will look like when you're all done, when there's something inconsistent about the problem. Since we already have a 1 in the upper left corner, we're going to try to get rid of these two ones right there by saying that R2 can be replaced by the negative of this number times the row with the 1 in it, which is R1, and adding it to the second row. We could take, do the same for the third one, negative 1 times R, uh, R1 and add it to R3. When we do that, the augmented matrix will look as follows. The first row does not change. It's 1, 1, 1, and 1. The second row, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. On the third row, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And negative 1 plus 2 is equal to 1. Notice here's an obvious problem. 0 plus 0 plus 0 cannot equal 1. So therefore, this is what we call an inconsistent solution. There's also no way to get rid of, well, we could get rid of this. So let's, let me go on a little bit farther and see what happens. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one right here to simplify it a little bit more by taking the first row and replacing it by the negative of the second row, the negative 1 times row 2 and adding it to row 1. That's to get rid of this one here to simplify the matrix a little bit more. So when we do that, we get the following. Notice that the second row doesn't change, 0, 1, 0, 3. The third row doesn't change, that's the inconsistent row, 0, 0, 0, and 1. And here, this stays 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 0 plus 1 stays 1. And negative 3 plus 1 becomes a negative 2. So for now, this is as far as we can go because we cannot eliminate this one because this is a 0 right here. But what this is telling us, the following, this is telling us that x1 plus x3 is equal to minus 2, that x2 is equal to 3, but that 0 is equal to 1. This is, of course, a big problem. And because of that, anything else that we have in the, in the solution doesn't make any sense. It's simply inconsistent, and so therefore there is no solution. And that's the other special case that you can run into when you use the Gauss-Jordan method of elimination or elimination method to simplify a system of linear equations to try and find the solutions. And that's how it's done.